All right, so now moving on to the motor controller. Hopefully you left everything intact from our electronic tests, small scale tests, uh, because the only thing we're gonna have to change here is the motors, take these little small motor motors out and take these uh, battery leads out as well. But the receiver connections, you can keep exactly like they are, as well as the configurations that we configured in the other video as well. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is unhook these small motors. as well as the battery connections because really don't need those right now. All right, just get all of that out of your way. All right, so the next thing that you probably want to do or something to keep in mind is which motor connections go to which motor. And for me, I know this is my left motor and this over here is my right motor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my left motor go into the connections for M1A and M1B. And for my right motor, I'm gonna have it into M2A and M2B. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up that motor. And just keep in mind, we may have to change these leads once we do test this out and our motors aren't turning exactly like they should. So what I can move on to next is my battery connection. So I'm just gonna hook up one first and then I unwrap this enclosed lead here and hook it up to my motor controller. And also remember again, make sure you're paying attention to your polarities. Again, positive goes to B plus and negative goes to B minus. So again, if you have everything hooked up right, you should have a solid blue light. If you don't, definitely something's wrong. So check your troubleshooting manual. And that's all to it. And I should be able to turn on my receiver or my transmitter right now and my motor should move. But before we do that, we're gonna do one more thing. All right, so what we wanna do before we begin our test is we wanna use something. I used a weight and some extra material here just to crank up the backside of this RC lawnmower so that our wheels can turn freely and we can easily test this unit inside or wherever you may be testing it at instead of having to take it outside and do a lot of trial and error runs. So next I'm gonna go ahead and get out the transmitter and just see if everything's working correctly. We may have to change some connections. So that's what we're gonna get into next. All right, so the first thing that I wanna test out here is when I turn on my transmitter, I wanna make sure my receiver's LED comes on just to indicate that a connection has been made. So I'm gonna turn that on. We should see a red LED pop on, which we do, which is great. So now we can go on to testing our rotation of our wheels. So let's see what happens when I press it forward. So I'm just gonna bring this back so you can see it. As you can see, we already have a problem here. You can see one motor is going forward, one is going backwards. So when I'm pressing this stick forward, we want the motor to go forward. So we can already see that that's a problem. As well as going back, it seems it's going in the opposite direction. Going side, they seem to be going in the same direction, which is not correct. So I did this purposely because I know some people may run into this issue. So what we're going to do is we're just going to interchange the connections of uh, one of our motor connections and everything should work just fine. All right, so the first thing you want to do here, especially for this test, since we don't have a little switch to disconnect the battery, we want to unhook the battery connection, at least just one of those leads, so we can interchange one of our motor leads. But in the future, we will probably be installing a switch so we can easily just turn off our battery uh, power supply. So I'm just going to take out this negative connection here. All right. And 
put that off to the side, make sure it can't touch anything. So the connection that I'm gonna choose to switch up is the first motor, the left motor. So I'm just gonna unscrew these screw terminals. All right, so now I'm just gonna reverse them basically. So since the red one was going into M1A, I'm gonna have it going into M1B. So that should do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up my better connection again and go ahead and test it again with the transmitter. Just a safety tip, I always wear some safety glasses when working around with batteries, as you can see. Can spark sometimes, that's all right. All right, so as we did before, as I turn on my transmitter, I wanna make sure our LED comes on for my receiver, which it does, so that's great. So I'm gonna pan down a little bit here so you can see my wheels. All right, so the first test that I'm gonna do is, as I push this stick forward, I wanna make sure my wheels, both wheels are turning forward. So I'm gonna push this forward a little bit. And they are both turning forward, which is great. And I can also adjust the speed. All right, so now let's test it as I go backwards. Both motors are turning backwards and I can adjust the speed. Next, what I wanna test is the left and right direction. So if I, as I go left, as we can see here, both wheels are moving, but they're moving in opposite directions, which is great. However, we also need to make sure that our RC lawnmower is moving in the direction that our stick is moving, which is to the left. So as we can see here, this motor here is turning forward while this left motor over here is turning backwards. So it's gonna be a really sharp turn or a zero turn radius turn. And if, if I go to the right, we can see that it turns in the opposite direction as before. And again, this motor over here is turning forward to push our RC lawnmower towards that direction while this one is pushing it back towards us. So everything looks great. Again, make sure you can adjust the speed and make sure it responds based on your stick position no matter how fast you're moving it. All right, so this test has passed. Again, after you do this test, make sure you make a diagram so you can rehook this up later. So now I'm just gonna take it outside and do a real test to see if we need to apply any more structure to our frame to see if we need any more support in any area. So that's the next test and I'll see you in the next video. Hello guys and ladies, that does conclude this video. Now I just wanna take a break from editing video and say a couple of things before I end this particular video. If you find these videos interesting or helpful, a way that you can show me that is by liking a video or leaving comments below the particular video that you found interesting or helpful. Or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, or you can share with others that you think may find this particular video interesting. So any of those things or many more or will actually show me that you guys appreciate all the time and effort that I'm putting into these videos and it would also boost my motivation just being more effort and time with trying to make these more informative and trying to get them out on YouTube and on the web a lot quicker so with that said I will see you in the next video